Hi guys, welcome back. Beautifully Valley here with another video. Before I get started, I just wanted to come on here and say thank you to everybody who stopped past my channel, watched the video, left a thumbs up, left me a comment, or decided to subscribe. I want to say hey to all my old subbies and hey boo to all my new ones. Um, please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. The choice is yours. All right, so I'm in the kitchen. My husband is down here playing on the game with his friends. So if y'all hear talking in the bag, noise, all that, that's him, okay? Can't do nothing about it. I can't cook in my room. So anyway, I'm trying to do a cooking video with y'all, but um, all my children are asleep. I don't have anybody to help me film, so I'm going to do the best I can. I have y'all set, set um on my tripod and, and my phone's dying, so y'all on the charger, so I can't move y'all. But anyway, I, I decided to call you guys so y'all can keep me company while I cook. So today, I am making salmon croquettes. But these aren't any type of salmon croquettes. These are the pandemic version. What's the pandemic version of salmon croquettes? It's whatever you have in your house type salmon croquettes because nobody can go to the stove right now. Not for a green pepper and not for an egg, okay? So I'm using, and I'm, I'll cut it up, half of a white onion. I'm using two cans of the... Um, Bumblebee pink salmon, but it is the wild, wild port, wild caught. I'm sorry. Everybody says, you have an accent that sounds country. So, yes, I know. Um, I'm going to use some Italian-style breadcrumbs. I'm going to use some Obey. A little bit of cayenne pepper. Um, not regular pepper. And lemon pepper. I'm also in the process of making white rice i did send terrence well terrence had to go get almond milk earlier so while he was out i was like just um look to see if they have any minute rice the store was completely out of minute rice so i already had like two bags of regular rice in my um cabinet so i just use that for people who don't know how to make regular rice i'm not talking about minute rice i'm talking about carolina rice regular white rice it is two cups of rice to four cups of water that is the ratio and it's supposed to cook for 20 minutes so just to let you guys know in case you didn't so yeah i'm still looking busted from earlier <laughs> after i took my twist down um yeah i'm not doing hair today i'm tired and i know people are like yeah she looks busted most of the time but guess what i don't really care because I'm tired and I can do, I can only do what I can do. So, you know, and I'm sick. So if people don't understand that, I don't know what to tell them. Um, yeah, I'm just cutting up these onions to put in there. Usually I would use uh, onions and green peppers, but I don't have any green pepper. And I didn't know that we didn't have one or I would have got one earlier. Cause the rice was out. And I am not going to be so, um, so I'm not going to be, I'm sorry, y'all. If I keep looking down, I'm, I'm cutting, I'm cutting. I promise I'm not being rude. <laughs> um, whew. what was I saying? Oh, I'm not going to saute these in a pan. I'm actually going to put them in the air fryer to make it a little bit easier on me. I don't really cook that often, not as much as I used to. I used to be a person who would cook every day, but since I got sick, I'm not able to do that. So I cook when I can. My husband wanted salmon cakes and um, I was gonna make them for him. So that's what I'm doing. Oh my God, my onions are not cut good like I usually cut them, but I'm not gonna kill myself over it. I'm just gonna keep on cutting, keep on cutting. I started to put music on, but I was like, no. I know everybody's tired of my same old playlist. Ari Lennox, Anderson Pack, um, Snow, Alira. 
I think that's how you say her name. Bryson Tiller. Um, you know, Erica Badu. Stuff like that. So, um, what are you guys making? That is my alarm for my race. So, hold on. Oh, what's up? Um, but I had already turned my race off anyway. <sighs> so, what are you guys making today? Put it in the comments below. I usually don't like cooking on Saturdays. I don't usually cook on Friday or Saturday. Um, even when I was cooking before, I didn't cook, in, cook on those days because I felt like people should be able to fend for themselves. Um, and then this, I'm sorry, y'all see my greens back there? I just got them. Well, they're clean. I had them soaking in some vinegar water. I, I you know, washed them really good, drained the vinegar water off, rinsed them two more times. So they're good. They're just waiting for me to saute them. I'm using my cast iron pan today, this time. Um, yeah, so I usually don't cook on Saturday. But for the married people in the world, if you are the main cook or um, you know that look when your husband wants you to cook, right? So. I just I cook, even though I'm tired. I'm going good up and cook, okay? Um, yeah, so I'm just removing the bone right now. I'm so sorry y'all can't see me because I don't have, I can't, I can't film. And this tripod does not face downward. So I'm sorry y'all. I'm going to have to get it together if I want to be doing cooking videos. Or people going to have to wake up earlier. How about that? Because mommy's going to need some assistance and if i'm down here cooking the least the least people can do is keep me company number one and um keep me company number one and assist me with filming especially since everybody think i should have a cooking channel or people think i should make cooking videos so you know i'm just i just finished deboning this one so I'm going to, and I do not take the skin out because skin has a lot of omega-3. It's good for your heart and stuff. So I'm going to keep the skin in. I know some people remove it, but I don't. This is like, people think salmon croquettes are fancy. But when I was little, well, any type of fish in a can, that's what you was getting. It wasn't like, oh, you know, we're going to go to the store and buy some fresh fish. The only time we had fresh fish is when we went fishing. We caught it ourselves and we cleaned it ourselves. So, yes, guys, I love going fishing. I love it, love it, love it. I do hope that before I leave this earth or this body that I'm able to go on a deep sea fishing trip. Um, I'm going to, of course, need help reeling in. Uh, but I'm I can cast with my hand, and for those who don't know, I'm left-handed, so I can, I'm and I'm ambidextrous too, so I can work with my right or my left. So yeah, um, yeah, I was telling my brothers actually, I was like, dang, like now that I think about it, now that I'm on, almost 40 years old, we should have just got a fishing boat together and started a fishing company, and I wouldn't have went to college or anything. I would have just. We could have moved to Alaska um, and and just fished. I would love, you know, to do that with my brothers. So these, this is what the bones look like. So yeah, I learned from a very small age how to fish. My grandmother was a big fisher. I can't say fisher man because she was a woman, but she um she loved fishing. She worked very very hard she used to work in the mental health field so that's the way she would decompress and when i'm saying she would go fishing when i was little i hated going fishing with my grandma because we would leave early in the morning we would have to catch the bus with all the fish and ride the bait anybody that know about fishing knows that that stuff can be stinky so we're on the bus we're riding down and um yeah so, oh, I'm sorry. Ooh. Oh, 
like that scrapey straight noise um the reason why i didn't like going fishing with my grandma was because like i said we would leave early in the morning and then um we wouldn't come back home to like one or two o'clock in the morning so we would be out there all day it, it wasn't a restroom so you had to do whatever you could do wherever you could do it at make sure you don't eat the wrong thing the day before and her thing her specialty like she liked catching carps and um catfish carps to me ugh, disgusting it's trash it's like a bottom feeder i don't like carp and i really hated catfish when i was little but i like catfish now all right so this is what this is looking like i just got my salmon in the bowl i'm gonna smash it up man i wish y'all could see this but y'all can't i don't have eggs so the bread crumbs should help hopefully with binding um i know some people use bread crumbs and flour but not this sister all right i'm gonna put my onions in remember you guys usually i would use onions and green peppers but i don't have a green pepper and again this is the pandemic version meaning you use what you have in your house Oh, I'm missing one ingredient. Okay, I got it now. <sighs> um, I am going to add my lemon pepper. I'm so glad that I bought a bag of lemons. They won't be here to Tuesday, but I'm glad I purchased some. All right. I'm going to add my Old Bay. I know y'all going to be like, this is a horrible cooking video. I don't know what to tell y'all. My churn, they still sleep. All right, Old Bay. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, a little bit of cayenne. Just a little bit, because Naya. A little bit all right and then to make it a little tangy tangy i'm only going to use like a teaspoon or a tablespoon tablespoon of dijon mustard all right we're going to mix this baby up I'm so sad I don't have an egg. I might have to add a little bit more mustard, actually. It's looking like this, guys. Everything is in here. Have you guys had to make any special pandemic recipes? If so, leave a comment in the description box. I mean, not in the description box. Leave a comment in the comments below, please. You know, this is the time where you have to get really crafty. You know? And like, if you grew up poor, <laughs> going back to that is not hard. I grew up, well, we weren't poor, but we y'all know. Okay? We weren't poor, but. There were certain situations that made it financially hard. We'll say that. Okay. All right. This is almost mixed thoroughly. Right, I'm going to turn my air fryer on. Did I tell y'all I'm making cheese rice? Cheese, cheesy buttery rice? I don't know if I said that. Because I absolutely hate white rice. I can't stand it. We ate a lot of rice when I was little. And I was that kid who was super duper picky. Like, I was one of those kids who would sit at the table all night and not eat my food. And my dad was like, okay, 
You know what I had for breakfast the next day? That same meal. So, I went on a hunger strike a lot as a kid. It didn't really hurt anybody but myself. You know, my dad, my mom didn't care because they like, we did our part. <laughs> if we lead you to the water and you don't drink it, that's on you. That's on you. <sighs> I am one of those people that clean up as I go. Um, I like to keep stuff organized because I don't have a lot of counter space. Well, yeah, it's not enough for me. Like, it's very hard to cook Christmas dinners and um, Thanksgiving dinner in here because I don't have enough space. So, in those cases, I just utilize my dining room table. All right, so I just have a plate here. I'm going to start making the patties and putting them on this plate. Um, I just got to make sure everything is away from the air fryer. Uh... Oh, I can't, you know what I thought I was using the Instapot. I'm about to say, where is the thing um, that let me start heating it up? But it's just about that. I got my machines mixed up. All right, guys, so I'm just going to start scooping, scooping in my hand. What you coming to see what I'm making? No. You ain't getting nothing. You ain't come down here and help me film. How, how are you not going to give me none of you making it for the house? Well, I'm making it for the people who helped me film this cooking video. Mm. Hey, I would never have no food then. So, I guess he going to be hungry. So, my patties are looking like this. And, guys, I did not use an egg, okay? So, my patties looking like that. What I'm going to do is stop it, Terrence. He's kicking me. Because I'm such a germaphobe, I have to watch everything. Everything. Before I use it. Which I already did, and that's why it's wet. Alright, I'm just putting my rack in here. And I'm only... This is only going to fit about... Four patties in here. So I'm going to start laying them in here. I, you don't want to overcrowd your uh, air fryer, guys. You really, really don't. So I'm using about... And another thing, because we're in a pandemic, you know, you can't just be... Um, oh, yeah, well, we're going to make it as big as possible now. I'm using about three tablespoons of... um. The salmon, I'm using about three tablespoons to make one patty. I should have put some um, parsley in here, but I don't have any. Or oregano. I could have put some oregano in here. Which is another, I said health food in my other video, in the saute video, um, saute greens video. I meant to say superfood. Kale is a superfood. Before it was a superfood, we used to eat it all the time. And oregano is also a superfood as well. So, I'm one of those people who don't like the taste of oregano. So, I take oregano capsules sometimes because, um, for those who don't know, oregano can help your immune system. Don't believe me. Look it up for yourself. I always say that. Don't don't take my word for it. Go look it up. Because that's how I found out. I just, you know. <laughs> As y'all know, for the folks who live here, you can't just take advice from any and everybody. T look it up. Okay? Alright. So... I'm going to show y'all what my patties look like in air fryer. Um, boom. Four. I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to wash my hands really quickly.
And I am going to set this according to this. For, I'm going to put it on 15 minutes because it's not like it's raw salmon. I'm going to put my air fryer on 15 minutes. And when it's done, I will come back and show y'all if it was a fail. <laughs> okay. If it was successful or if it was a fail. But it shouldn't be. All right, guys. Um, I'll be back. Hey, guys. So I'm back. That was a very long intermission. I had to clean up. And... While I was waiting, I went on and made my sauteed greens and my cheese rice. Now, the trick to cheese rice is uh, you have to fold the cheese in. So, after you make your rice and it's, all the water is absorbed, I think shredded cheese is better for cheese rice. But I didn't have shredded. I had black cheese. So, if you don't have um, shredded cheese, use black cheese. Make sure you cut them in small squares. Put them in your pot and then put the lid on it and let it melt and then just fold the cheese in because you don't want to like stir it in because then you'll make the rice very, very mushy. So, um, these salmon cakes are done. Let's see what they're looking like. Okay, so first thing I'm going to learn is, um, first thing I learned is that I'm going to have to, can I spray this? Babe, do you know if I could spray this? I probably could spray this with Pam, right? Yeah. I'm a, I have to spray this pan because they, they got a little stuck. Um, in addition to that, I think 15 minutes in the air fryer is too long. I'm going to show you all what they looking like. This is the first batch. Don't laugh. So they looking like this, okay? First batch. So... Let me get the Pam, and then I'm going to start on the other piece. This time, I'm probably going to put them in for, like, um, I, I hope I can spray this with Pam. God, don't let this catch on fire. All right. So, I sprayed this with Pam. As y'all can see, they got a little stuck. Again, I'm using... Three tablespoons of salmon. To make the cake. To bind it all together. Okay, so I guess I'm going to try 10 minutes now. I won't put it in for 15, but I'll put it in for 10 and see. I mean, they don't look bad, but you don't want them to be dry. Like... Oatmeal cookies. Nobody got time for that. Okay. That's my refrigerator alarm. Oh my god. This stuff is about to fall off top of the refrigerator. I didn't touch anything with my hand. For those, uh, because I am a big germaphobe. For those who don't know. As I should be. Alright. So... What I do is, this is two tablespoons. So I start making the patty, and then I take an extra scoop, put it in my hand, and finish making the patty. And even though these didn't have eggs, they still bind it pretty well because of the um, breadcrumbs. So, I'm not going to call this a, a cooking video because, of course, y'all can't see what's going on. So, this is just going to be a keep me company while I cook video, okay? One, two. All right, I have a family of five. Um, I think I'll be able to make maybe ten patties. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, so everybody get... Two. Don't wait if yes, I had to count on my fingers. It's like no, I didn't. <laughs> I'm just playing y'all. So just making the patty. That's so rude. I'm looking down. I'm sweating too. I'm very tired. I am actually I have a chair right here. Usually when I cook, I have to have a chair because I have to take breaks. So, I have to stand up for this video, though, because you guys can't see me. 
So again, the only seasonings I used in this was Obey, lemon pepper, um, Dijon mustard, onions, uh, I think that was it. I don't cook with salt, y'all. I just cook with products that have salt in it. Um, and I always try to get the low sodium, the low sodium version. All right, so salmon cakes are in. I'm gonna put it on 10 minutes. And then I'll see y'all when I'm done making the, the cakes. All right, guys, so my last three salmon cakes or salmon croquettes, however you want to say it, in the air fryer. But I just wanted to show y'all. Oh, still can't see it. This is what we're having for Saturday. This is my husband's plate. But I um, did put the salmon croquettes in the uh, air fryer for 10 minutes and they, they were too pale. So 15 minutes is the way to go, people. Um, yeah. If nobody told you that you're enough today, you are just the way you are with no strings attached. And if nobody told you that they love you today, I love you. So until next time, guys, peace, love, and blessings. Until the next one.